Well, it looks like the human virtue signal that is Justin Trudeau might be finally wearing out his welcome with Canadians. And if this polling is correct, it doesn't matter how much money he spends on his hair. It's just not going to work. Not this time. Here's the headline. 81% of Canadians want Trudeau out of power. 81%. That's of all Canadians. That's not, you know, conservatives or moderate. That's all Canadians. 81% of all Canadians want Trudeau out of power. Now, that doesn't mean that they necessarily want conservatives in power. It just means that they've had enough of Trudeau. Although we do see the conservatives widen their lead over Justin Trudeau's liberals, up to 7% now. And of those people that think that it's time for a change and that there is a good alternative, 56% of those will vote conservative and for Pierre Poiliev. Now, apparently, only 6% of liberals think that there's a time for a change and that there is also a good alternative. 33% of liberals think it's time for a change, but there is no good alternative. But I have to think that some of them will come to their senses, and as much as they have been bred to dislike conservatives their entire lives, some of them will hold their noses and vote conservative because it's really the only sane thing to do at this point. Things have gone too far. Things have gone too far left. And people, I think, are waking up and increasingly recognizing this. It's time for a correction. And if the liberals are going to win the next election, I think they're going to have to do it without Justin Trudeau. Although Justin Trudeau is not showing any signs that he's willing to step down. He's busy passing censorship laws, which I'm sure he feels will help him. But it's really not hard to understand why people would be getting sick of Justin Trudeau. I mean, look, in a prior life, he was a drama teacher. Now, he's the drama prime minister. Let's look at the scandals. Elbowgate, Aga Khan scandal, SNC-Lavalin affair, cultural appropriation. Yes, that's what he humiliated himself in India. Oh, and I'm sure you all remember the blackface scandal. I personally found it particularly galling when he apologized, but also said, well, yeah, the real problem is that Canada's racist, though. Yeah, the rest of us weren't running around in blackface, Justin. That was just you. But the scandals go on. I mean, we charity controversy, arrive can amp. And that's not even mentioning the idiotic uh, mandates. Mandates that his own government were desperately trying to find any actual justification for right up until it went through. Let's see, RCMP investigation interference. Oh, allegations of Chinese interference in the 2019 and 2021 Canadian federal elections. How about that? How about bringing in a special rapporteur, whatever that's supposed to be, to investigate it? A guy who just happened to have a massive conflict of interest. A guy who was a part of the Trudeau Foundation. A lifelong friend of the Trudeau family. And again, that's not even getting into the Emergencies Act and freezing bank accounts. But I think the thing that really, really is going to put the last nail in the coffin for him is the woke stuff. I just did a video about how Justin Trudeau is absolutely furious that teachers aren't going to be able to secretly trans their kids at school without their parents' knowledge. He's absolutely furious that schools can't keep secrets from parents. I desperately want him to run on this to make it a major platform issue in the next election keeping secrets from parents, denying parents incredibly consequential information about their own children's health. Please run on that, Trudeau. And I can tell you, the more Canadians who hear about this, the more that 81% of Canadians that want Trudeau out of power, that number is going to go up. Because I just can't believe that Canada is that crazy yet. So please, Trudeau, Please run on that. In fact, why don't you start wearing rainbow suits? Why don't you have a rainbow flag sticking out of your ass? Please. In fact, please have a rally where you personally hand out puberty blockers to 12-year-olds. You believe in it so much, you're apparently giddy with excitement at the prospect of uh, chemically castrating and mutilating children. Please run on that. Before this is all said and done, I've got my hopes we can get the number up to 100%. Anyway, please subscribe, like, and share. Sharing really helps me out. I thank you for that. I will see you next time.